Hi guys, so Liz Truss is to take over from Lord Frost as the new Brexit Minister. Does this mean that she will no longer be Foreign Secretary? I don't know. Why is Liz Truss being offered this poisoned chalice? So why Liz Truss? Well, she was nicknamed the Brexit Wonder Woman because of the wonderful trade deals she signed with countries around the world. These deals are obviously crap, but they are considered by Brexiteers, who are becoming fewer and fewer in number by the day, as some sort of success. Trust like Lord Frost was somebody who used to be a Remainer. Now, while Frost wasn't as vocal about staying in the EU, Liz Truss was part of a campaign to keep Britain in Europe. Following the referendum, she became a Brexiteer to further her political career. I've asked this question of her before. What did she truly believe? Truss is also a Johnson loyalist. However, she may be moving from the top spot to replace him into scapegoat territory. What I mean is that there is a list of possible successors to the Prime Minister who's on the rocks at the moment. Many had named Liz Truss as a likely candidate. Giving her this poison chalice will mean she will be lumped with the blame for Brexit. This is typical Johnson. Boris used to be the face of Brexit when the times were good. Now that it has turned into a royal mess and it's about to get much worse, he can make Truss the face of everything Brexit. She will have to keep Brexiteers happy, the EU happy, the DUP happy, importers and exporters happy, farmers and others happy. But she will fail because Brexit is a failure. Johnson is washing his hands of the situation, and short of giving it to Sunak, he gave it to the most likely person to challenge him. Now, does Liz Truss bring anything to the table apart from bravado over trade deals? Well, not really. I don't know if she understands Northern Ireland the Good Friday Agreement or the Northern Arm Protocol? Does she understand the harm that Brexit is doing and it's been mitigated by the Protocol? Does she know that Northern Ireland didn't vote for Brexit and that the majority there support the Protocol? Does she understand that businesses in Northern Ireland don't want the UK government to trigger Article 16? We'll have to wait for answers to those questions. Now, how will the DUP and the traditional unionist voice in Northern Ireland react to this? Jeffrey Donaldson has threatened to bring down the Assembly if he doesn't get his way over the protocol. The European Union have called for a pragmatic figure. Liz Truss has a reputation of giving in at the drop of a hat. It's still extremely early, but I expect Truss to talk like a Brexiteer at the beginning. She will talk about standing up to the European Union and perhaps talk about triggering Article 16 to defend the Union. Lord Frost was a fraud, and so is she. But Frost was more careful with his language. Trust doesn't seem intelligent enough to avoid stupid mistakes. She will also be under greater scrutiny than Frost ever was. She will have to answer questions, tough ones from the media, and I don't see that going very well. Johnson is in trouble and he can see the knives being sharpened and possible replacements already measuring the curtains at number 10. But by making Truss responsible for the disaster of Brexit, he may have defanged one of his biggest threats. Let me know what you think of the Liz Truss appointment. Thanks a lot.